More military news. The Korean Navy has a new submarine and is named after revered independence activist Yu Guan Sun. It's the first submarine to be named after a woman in the modern Navy's 70 year history. A leader in the March 1st movement certainly deserves this honor. Our Shin Zemin has this report. Yu Guan Sun is the name of the Korean Navy's newest submarine, and it's the first vessel to be named after a woman in the modern Navy's 70 year history. The Korean Navy announced Sunday that the Type 214 1800 ton attack submarine will be named after Yu, an admired student independence fighter who was a leader in the March 1st movement against Japan's colonial rule of Korea in 1919. She died at the age of 18 at the hands of Japanese troops as a result of being tortured in prison. In a written statement, the Navy said the naming of the vessel comes at a special time, as this year marks the 70th anniversary of the country's liberation and the 95th anniversary of Yu's passing in prison. The diesel-powered submarine will be deployed on anti-vessel and anti-submarine missions. It is equipped with cruise missiles and torpedoes and will be able to travel to and from Korea to Hawaii on a single tank of fuel. And it has an underwater speed of up to 20 knots. The submarine is being built by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, and it will be delivered in November of next year. We began naming the vessels after independence activists, starting with the third vessel. And we are naming this the sixth submarine in each class after Yu Gan Sun in recognition over her patriotism. Korea has ordered nine Type 214 submarines. The three previous vessels named after independence fighters and military heroes are in honor of An Jung-gun, Kim Jae-jin, and Yoon Bong-gil. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.